depending on what state you were born and raised in, that would determine whether what like what party you would basically be um affiliated with. This person, um, Tom Nichols, was basically a Republican for most of his adult life. And then he came a political age in 1980, and although he grew up in a working-class Democratic stronghold in Massachusetts, he found a home in Ronald Reagan's um, GOP. Back then, the Republicans were confident the party of ideas, a compliment bestowed upon them by one of their foes, a Democratic senator named Daniel Patrick Moynihan of New York. There were, optimist, there were optimistic boosters of the American dream at home and, a fierce, and fierce opponents of the Soviet Union overseas. While the Democrats were the party of recrimination and retreat, the Republicans were the party of the future, not anymore. Um, even though we understand the attachment to that GOP, even among those who have sworn to defeat Fat Ass 45, by the time sentimentality is over, the party, um, but the party is long gone today. The Republicans are the party of American carnage and Russian collusion, the, the party of scams, plots, and weapons grades contempt for the rule of law. The only decent, sensible, and conservative position is to vote against this Republican Party at every level and break the sad final days of a once great political institution to its end and then and then build the party back up from scratch. Mm. Basically we're not advocating for voting against the uh, against the GOP merely to punish Republicans for forty for fat ass forty five's existence in the party. Rather conservatives must finally accept that at this point that Fat Ass 45 and the Republican Party are indistinguishable. Um, Fat Ass 45 and a circle, circle have gutted the old GOP and stuffed its um, empty husk with the, with the Fat Ass 45's family paranoia and corruption. Indeed, though, the transformation of the GOP is, is, is in, um, it's turned into a cult of personal, it's turned into a cult of personality, and it is, it is, and, and it is so complete with the, that the Republicans didn't even bother presenting a platform at their own convention, like a group of ciphers at a meeting of, of Spectre. They nodded at whatever number one told them to do, each of them fearing an extended pinky figure pressing the button that would electrocute them into political oblivion. Some Republicans, even while they grant that Fat Ass 45 is a sociopath and an idiot, well, yeah, he is, and how unsettling that so many of them will will stipulate to that, and and they're willing to continue voting for Republican candidates because the GOP is, is, is nominally pro-life or because the administration's judicial appointments show that the people around the fat ass are doing what conservatives should wa should want done. But fat, ass, but fat ass 45's few conservative achievements are meaningless when compared with his war on American democracy, a rampage that few Republicans have lifted a finger to stop. Um, fat ass 45 and his attorney, and his attorney general, Fat Fuck Barr, have turned the constitutional order and the rule of law into a joke. If you're, Roger, if you're the dumbass, um, Roger Stone or Michael Flynn, the White House will arrange pardons, com um, 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 commutations, or even the outright betrayal of the Justice Department's own lawyers. Felony convictions are for the little people. The Constitution is just busy work for chumps. <coughs> the GOP representatives in the poll in the people's houses sneer at concepts such as oversight um, and the separation of power rather than demand accountability from the executive branch on COVID-19 or the Hatch Act on the Postal Service or anything, really. They either they either repose in sullen, silence, in, in sullen silence, silence, or they take up the lance for the fat ass and overwhelm committee hearings with, with the Trump and word salad. Meanwhile, um, senators um, who swore to be impartial jurors refused to hear actual evidence during an impeachment trial they confirmed a rogues gallery of, in, of incompetent henchmen and cronies to, into important positions. They continue to downplay the Russian attacks on the U.S. political system, and they are now outboxed by the likes of John Ratcliffe, who is the Director of National Intelligence, a non-entity who has ruled that none of them, Republicans or Democrats, should be allowed to ask any pesky questions about election security in person. But Neil Gorsuch, a Republican chirp, when pressed about... Um, Repu Republicans, Republicans tripped when pressed about their party's demise, as if Neil Gorsuch and Brett Ka and the rapist Brett Kavanaugh will settle up and save us when elected Republicans refuse to stop Fat Ass 45 from finally turning the FBI into his private police force, or Fat Fuck Bar from using the Department of Homeland Security as the White House's own Belarusian um, interior ministry. But the rapist Kavanaugh, who warned during his confirmation hearings that what goes around comes around, might be exactly the justice to put um, his stamp on such moves. But conservatives, 
must also let go of fantasies about saving the good Republicans they listed as virtually non-existent. You can't count Mitt Romney more than once, the occasional furled brow, a, spe a specialty of the, feckless, of the feckless retard Susan Collins of Maine, is not enough. The few like Romney who have dared grasp at moments of sanity have been pil um, pillared by fat-ass 45 and the other Republicans. In any case, Romney is chained to the GOP caucus, a coup that includes the jabbering Louis Go um, Gomer and calculating um, Elise Stefan um, Stefaniak in the House and the sniveling Ted Cruz and the moral Moscow Mitch in the Senate. Would be um, It would be Madisonians among the Republicans warn that no, um, that no party should have untrammeled access to the levels of power and especially not the Democrats. Just they say we understand that fat, that fat ass 45 must go. But if Joe Biden is allowed to run the executive branch without a Republican Senate, America will become a one-party state at the, um, sooner or later and it would fall under the boot of the dreaded Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. This faux constitutionalism is, a, is, basically, is basically hypocrisy. I do not recall during the days in the GOP or anyone on the right on the on the Republican side ever pleading that Americans should have at least a few Democrats in office, so that that the Republicans would not go crazy and start force feeding what they call the Ayn Rand or Friedrich Hayek, um, Hayek to impressionable school children. America needs what they call a two um a two healthy political party system. So if the Republicans suffer a full spectrum defeat in 2020, what comes next? At the at the least, a shattering loss would should result in a whole in a wholesale purge of the Republican National Committee. Even donors who like what they got from Fat S forty five would not pour money into a losing um, into a losing proposition. In the long term, sensible cons um, conservatives who believe in the limited government and the prudent constitutional stewardship of national powers and resources might feel safe to run for national office as Republicans again. Those at the local level who were bullied into silence by their state organizations might be able to come out of, hi of hiding and challenge the people who led them to a disaster. Re reconstructing the GOP or any center-right party that might one, one day replace it, it would take a long time and the process will be painful. The remaining opportunities in the GOP will try to avert any kind of reform by making a last-ditch lunge to the right to fill the vacuum left by Fat S45's culture warning, um, culture warning and race baiting. In the short term, the party might become smaller and more extreme, even as it, lo as it loses seats, so be it. The hardening of the GOP into a toxic con con conglomeration of hucksters, quislings, racists, theocrats, cultists, and, and the cultists is already happening. The party gladly accepted support from white supremacists and the Russian secret services, and, now, and they now welcome QAnon um, kooks into the caucus. Conservatives must learn that the only way out of the wilderness is to first finger those who led them there. No person should ever get a second chance to destroy the Constitution. Fat Ass 45 has brought the United States to the brink of a civil catastrophe, and the Republican Party has protected him from the consequences of all his immoral and illegal, and illegal actions more ably than, than, when, than even Fred Trump did. Conservatives must need to put the current party, the current Republican Party, out of its in our in our misery. Yep. So if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, Ryan Van Wyke, and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And thanks for listening.